ladies and beautiful people, and welcome back to another Hatsune Miku reaction video. Man, I am loving this. I am absolutely loving this. If no one told me that this wasn't a real person, I'm being honest, I probably never would have found out for myself. I would have gone into this rabbit hole just assuming that I was listening to the voice of a real person. It is incredible. I'm loving everything I've checked out so far. The live performance video was amazing last time, and now all of you on Twitch voted for this to be the next Vocaloid reaction we recorded. I'm excited to check this one out. The one and only Hatsumiku Rolling Girl. Now, if you don't know what I mean by voted for on Twitch, every single week we do a weekly vote where all of you get to decide what next Vocaloid Hololive VTuber reaction I record here on YouTube. So if you don't want to miss out on being in with a chance of putting your song forward, then make sure you are following me on Twitch. And also, we are currently doing some big gift card giveaways. In the future, it can be anything up to a thousand dollars that I'm giving away weekly. At the moment, it's not quite that high, but in the future, it could be. So I just want to let all of you know, if you want to get yourself some extra spending money over the holiday season, all you need to do is follow me on Twitch. That's literally it. Follow me on Twitch. Watch my live stream. I'll be live tonight, 8.30 p.m. UK time to be in with a chance of winning yourself a gift card. Just as a thank you from me to all of you over the holiday season. Enough of my talking. Let's jump into my first time every action. By the way, Twitch link in the description. Let's jump into my first time every action to Hatsune Miku, Rolling Girl. sounds so much like an anime opening sort of style with that faster piano intro this is very giving me like mega anime vibes with this sort of soundtrack this is this is brilliant this is much more fast paced than i've heard so far and her higher pitch on this tone as well absolutely fantastic this might be my favorite already I'm just saying, right? All of you watching this, the next time you see someone go down the Hatsune Miku rabbit hole, don't tell them. Don't tell them that Hatsune Miku isn't a real person. Just don't say it. Because if all of you didn't say it to me, I'm not lying. I never would have figured it out. There's no way of knowing this voice isn't a human. It's incredible how it's done. Definitely my favorite so far. actually to see like a cover version of a Hasumiku song and see how closely they can follow this sort of higher pitched voice because it is incredibly beautifully done sounds fantastic and I am interested all of you who are massive fans of Hasumiku what would you consider one of the best covers to one of her songs you've all seen I'd be very curious to check that out and also what is your favorite song by Hasumiku that you guys would like me to react to I really like this one I like the faster pace of this one Oh, I 
definitely my favorite song. I know it's quite a dark song, um, especially from the lyrics and, and the video itself. Um, at the beginning, it said movie and it said who it was done by. I don't know if this is actually from a movie. Someone can let me know in the comment section or if that's just what they call music videos. But yeah, I know it's darker and with the tones, it's definitely much darker, much more hard hitting. Uh, the music video especially. But this is easily my favorite song. I love this. This this is done so well. And the way it's kept up this, this fast increasing tempo throughout the entire song, I'm just so damn impressed. I'm I, I'm never gonna stop being impressed. I'm never gonna not listen to Atsu Miku and just sit here with a big giant smile on my face, just mind blown and impressed at what I'm hearing. Because it is so damn impressive. <laughs> Someone please, can someone please let me know what this is about? Can someone please let me know what this is about? I'm, I'm having, I was having a hard time deciphering what this song was actually about. It, I'm noticing this a lot the more I go into the world of Japanese music. When it comes to actually breaking down what a song is about, we recently did um, Yoasobi uh, Racing Into The Night. And that song, um... I I had no idea, like because the way the way the reason I'm the reason I struggle so much is because if you don't speak the language, then when you listen to the song, what you're listening to doesn't match the lyrics, and it, this isn't really a thing that is that I that you see much in Western culture. So what I mean in Western culture, it's rare that in like UK or US music you have a song that is fast paced, upbeat, energetic. And, and sounds happy instrumental wise that has like these hard emotional devastating lyrics that doesn't usually happen it's not something we, we we see much but it seems a lot in Asian music in Korean in Japanese music when I'm going down these rabbit holes I can see huge bands huge groups huge artists performing songs that as a Westerner when I don't speak that language and I listen to it in my, if I just didn't know the lyrics I'd be like oh this is a nice song nice beat Sounds upbeat, sounds nice, sounds happy. And then people are like, no, it's actually a song about like depression and, and etc. and blah, blah. And it's like, really? How? It doesn't make any sense. So I noticed that a lot when I listen to Yo Asobi Racing Into the Night. And this song is similar in the sense that it maintains that faster, upbeat tempo the whole way through with the piano. The only thing that sounds a bit emotional, surprisingly, is the vocal performance, which is crazy now I'm saying that out loud. But that was the only part of this song. That sounded maybe to have a bit of emotional weight to it, which is really interesting because I don't know how it's possible to convey emotion in a voice that isn't real, and yet somehow I feel like that's exactly what was done with this song. <sighs> am I am I crazy in saying that? That's that's exactly what it felt like. It felt like emotion was conveyed, despite the fact that the voice I'm listening to isn't real and can't truly convey emotion, which is nuts. It is really nuts now I think about it. it but yeah, Rolling Girl easily my favorite. But I'd like someone, if possible. Um, to break this one down for me to let me know what this is exactly about because I feel like there was a, a hard hitting point here that went over my head um, as far as the song itself loved it absolutely loved it beautiful song loved it like I, the, the flipping the second it opened up with that fast pace and you had the piano just going on overtime and then Hatsumiku just came in with this higher note I knew I was going to love it, and I wasn't disappointed from start to finish. My favourite so far. This is definitely my favourite Hasumiku song. How many Hasumiku songs are there? I know Hasumiku's done a lot of features as well with Deco27. There's a bunch as well. I would definitely be curious in those. Um, what would you guys say is your favourite feature Hasumiku's done? I would love to explore more in the vocal in the Vocaloid rabbit hole as well. Also, are there any other big ones, or is Hasumiku literally number one, and, uh, and there aren't really many more? Because I would love to check out some other Vocaloids as well, with some different voices of different styles. I'd be really interested in that. Loving, loving, loving this rabbit hole. Not just Hasumiku, but this entire rabbit hole we're going on in the world of Japanese music and now the world of VTubers and everything. It's truly incredible. And I have all of you to thank for this because this is music I never would have heard if it wasn't for all of you watching this video right now. So from the bottom of my heart, truly thank you so much for giving me your recommendations. Which leads me to say, if you have a recommendation, please make sure you put it in the comments section down below because I do try and read as many comments 
on all of my videos as I possibly can. So if you have any recommendations, put them in the comment section and the chances are I will most likely see them and react to them here on YouTube. Also, if you want to give me direct recommendations or you want to get yourself some extra spending money of the holiday season and win a gift card or you want to be part of the votes that we have, make sure you're following me on Twitch. If you're not following me on Twitch, you are missing out big time, trust me. Um, if you're just following me on YouTube, you're literally getting half the content. So trust me, follow me on Twitch. It's a lot of fun. Everyone's so damn welcoming and kind there as well. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to talk if you don't want to. You can just lurk in the background and enjoy watching it. But yeah, definitely follow me on Twitch. There's so many goodies happening over there. And like I said, in the future, I plan on upping all the goodies as well. So yeah, link is in the description. But other than that, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful weekend coming up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'd like me to react to next. And as always, you will see me in the next video.